Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, this is Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and we're at the 8th Annual Rib Off at Mike Strong's house. And today, we're going to go around and see if we can get some secrets and learn how to cook ribs from some of these guys. we got to get some of their secrets. So y'all stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials, 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Dana, we have a flat. That's okay, Weezer. We'll just call Ed's Tire Service. Ed's Tire Service has been in business for 27 years. It's a 24-hour roadside service for on-site repairs. No job is too big or too small. So remember, when you're having tire trouble, call for my tire service. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood, seasoning, sauces, and propane needs. They have local Amy River catfish, $3.99 a pound all year long. Fresh shrimp, Dungeness crab, local frog legs, soft shell crabs, alligator, scallops, live and ball crabs, and cracklings. And don't forget, crawfish season is just around the corner. Always local, never imported, at Hole in the Wall Seafood. All right, y'all, I found somebody who's got the history of this. Lindsay Liotto. Now, where are you from? Gonzales, Louisiana. All right, now tell us a little bit about the history of this. Well, it started eight years ago at our house. We were just hanging out, cooking some ribs, and it kind of grew into something bigger and better. And when we started inviting other people, and it became a contest, and we just started adding different prizes and locations and events with it. So, so it's, it's awesome. It's pretty much been the same people. Same people. Uh, we try to get different cooks and different people to attend every year. So they get to keep the trophy. Yes. And then there, the trophy, an apron. And whoever's in last place, what they get? Uh, it's a booby prize, and I'm not sure. It changes every year. It could be oh. a barbecue cookbook for dummies. You never know. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Uh, now, you're not uh, cooking in it? You're, no, no, I don't. Okay. I just help um, put everything together as far as the cook's numbers, um, get the judge sheets together, and take all the pictures of the cooks with their barbecue pits and stuff. Now, what are they judged on? Um, taste, texture, and appearance. Okay. Ten points or so? Um, for we, we don't... We do like a two to nine scale. Okay, okay. And then judge, uh, if there's a tie, we, then we separate those. Are you one of the judges? No, I'm not. No, but you eat ribs. Yes. All <laughs> <love> right. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for talking Thank with me. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you. Awesome. All right, y'all. I, I found Mike, y'all, the host of the thing. Mike, uh, where are you from? Well, I'm down a little prairie road here in Ascension Parish right off of Highway 42. All right. Now, uh, you've been cooking in this from the beginning? No, they, uh, they started it as a just a party get together for a Super Bowl and then they all call me Uncle Mike. They gotcha. say, you got a little good spread, let's start it out there. And Hell, I taught half of them how to do it, but I hadn't won yet and half of them have won. Well, I heard you saying you were going to focus this year and uh, put some more time and effort into maybe trying to place in the top. It's what I planned, but okay. I've been running around like a social butterfly already. I ain't even really hot on the pit yet. Now, you're, uh, you've already got your rib season. Yeah. You've already got your sauce made. 
Yeah, I had to kill a possum last night just to get the grease out of it. Ha <laughs> ha, that's secret ingredients right there. Nobody else wants to tell us that kind of stuff. Well, that's right, and if you believe that, go ahead and find you a possum. Put yeah. Your ribs. Now, you got uh, some voodoo or something going on, if somebody, if you need oh, to. Oh, uh... yeah, this is my gargoyle. Had a guy up the street that carved wood, uh -huh. and uh, I come in second a couple times, so I put out this gargoyle to ward off the evil spirits of uh, the um, other cooks. Uh -huh. uh, one of my nephew's ribs, whole rack caught on fire. He had to throw it on the ground, what? stomp it out, but he put it back on the pit. Whoa. And even better than that, he didn't even come out last that year. Oh, that's something we didn't talk about. Now, you don't want to be last. Well, hell no, I don't want to be. And if I am, well, I guess I'll just get that free cookbook we get. <laughs> <laughs> free cookbook to the person who comes in last. And the name of the cookbook is... is uh... How to barbecue. Barbecue for dummies or something. Whatever was on sale at Walmart. <laughs> well, awesome, Mike. Well, I really appreciate you letting everybody come out here and, and you hosting this thing up. And uh, we're going to check back with you again. All right. Sounds good. Good luck to you. <laughs> well, thanks. All right, y'all. I found some cooks out here. And y'all's names are? Jessica. And? Nick. Where y'all from? Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Now, y'all been cooking in this a while? This is my second year. Okay. And so, you're the, y'all, y'all team. Yeah, assistant. I just, I'm just kind of a prep cook. That's all I do. Gotcha. Yeah. He gotcha. has the truck too, so that helps. All right. You can get the pit back and <laughs> exactly. forth. Now, uh, what's the secret to your ribs? What's the? Uh, I just try to keep my temperature. That is, that is the hardest part on charcoal grill. I'm uh -huh. from gas, so keeping temperature. Okay. Now, what temperature are you looking for? 215 to 225 for a good slow cook. How many hours you thinking? Uh, Three to five, depending on people's, okay. th how they want to do it. And do, I, do you use a secret sauce or? Um, I'm kind of one of those cooks that just throws everything together, so uh -huh. my ribs never taste the same. Now, how'd y'all do last year in it? Uh, halfway Six. through, yeah, like middle. Really? Kind of like 15, so now, it's not bad. I've seen you put them on there. Can we get a little glimpse of them? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the last time you'll see them for another, like, hour. All right. Okay, well, uh, we're going to be talking to y'all throughout the day. Well, good luck to y'all. Thanks. Thank y'all. Thank you, sir. All right, y'all. I got two other cooks out here, and uh, y'all's names are? Cynthia. And you from? From here. And? Bruce Hilliard from Prairieville, Louisiana. Now, Bruce, you cooked in this before, huh? Yeah. How many Couple years? Times. This will be the third one. Third year? Yep. Okay. Now, uh, what's your secret to some good ribs? What, what, the, is not telling it, people your secrets. Not telling the secrets. All right. <laughs> uh, and you got a, a rub on there, I see. Yeah, a, I rub, a rub, a sauce. It's a Memphis-style rib. Is it? Yeah. Awesome. You fixing to put them on now? Oh, yeah. All right. With a little bit of luck, maybe I'll take the uh, cup on this Yes, year. indeed. Uh, this is the eighth year, they're telling me. This is the eighth year has been going on. Now, you've been here with him cooking on it before? Yeah. You you know the secret, too, but you're not telling either. Yeah. Well, <laughs> secret is to not give up your secret. All right. Now, you looking for a certain temperature, or are you going to, are you kind of just eyeball it? I cook a little slower than what I've heard other people cook at. I, I, I do 225. Uh, they give you, I think, five hours here. Okay. Okay. And that's plenty enough time for you? Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to let you get on back to cooking, and we'll check with you throughout the day. And I'm going to say good luck to y'all, <laughs> and good luck. Thank y'all. All right, I got me two more cooks here. Your name? My name is Brent. Where are you from? Gonzales. And your name? I'm Wesley. From? Gonzales. All right. Got some hometown player right That's here. Right. Now, uh, you you haven't put anything on the pit. You're working on your sauce. Oh, absolutely. Now, uh, what's the secret to your ribs? Is it the sauce? No, it's love. It's love. That's I got right. you. Now, some of them won't tell me the secret, so it must be a real secret. Oh, it is. It's competition. Gotcha. Now, uh, this this sauce is the one you've been using. How long you been cooking in this? Uh, I've only been cooking since last year. He's this been cooking in it. Year. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it? And y'all teamed up together? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now, how'd y'all come out last year? Third place. Third? Yeah. Now, uh, I heard somebody saying a while ago, I think it was y'all overheard, your, your sauce will taste different than your ribs. Uh, somebody was saying that. Oh, absolutely. Your ribs are going to have one taste, and your sauce is going to have another taste. So whenever you take a bite of it, it's going to be like a small little battle in your mouth of just goodness. <laughs> All the good flavors hitting together. Oh, absolutely. Now, uh, you use the whole time. How many hours does it take you to cook them? Right about four hours. Right yeah. at four? Yeah. And what temperature are you looking for? About 250, 225. 250? Okay. And, and, and you put a, a rub on your ribs? Yeah, I got a dry rub been sitting on there. 
Okay. Um, you marinated them last night? Oh, or? yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let them sit there for about 24 hours. Okay. Um, so you got your sauce ready. You're just about ready to go with the ribs then? Yeah. Almost. Okay, Almost. fellas. Well, we're going to check back with y'all, and good luck. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. I got another cook out here. What's your name? Michael. And where are you from? Gonzalez. All right. Now, you got a fancy pit here. This is a charcoal one side, and so you... So you you cooking on the charcoal though? Yeah. Okay. And you just getting the fire going, so uh, undoubtedly you haven't put anything on yet. Right. Now, uh, what's the secret to your ribs? You just said the first word, secret. Secret. Why? That's I, I'm seeing a trend here on that secret part. Now, uh, you you rub yours. You put a rub on them. Yeah. Yeah. Some from the store and stick on them. Gotcha. And then you got a sauce also. Yeah. You make that from homemade scratch. Uh, I add a few things. Basically, to it. yeah. And how long does it take you to cook them? I usually cook them for three and a half hours. Okay, and what temperature? Uh, I try to keep them at 250 to three. Okay. Any, anywhere higher than that, you'll burn them. Okay. Oh, uh, well, that I'll tell you what, bro. I got some awesome smells already coming out here, and we haven't yeah. even got any meat on the grill yet. Nope. Well, we're going to check back, and I'm going right. to wish you good luck. Young man. Who's this here? Oh, that's my son, Lebo. Hey, this Lebo. This is the secret ingredient, steak. Just, you got to feed it to the judges, and they, once you feed it to them, they'll vote for it. Then you. they know. They, oh, yeah. yeah. When you fatten up the judges, then you got good luck. Yep. Awesome. I didn't know that. That's a good looking you steak. Look, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. I got a former winner right here. What's your name? My name is Lucas Brent. Where are you from? Gonzales, Louisiana. All right. Now, you, you won one year. Yes, sir. I won a year, 2008 football season. Yes, sir. And I heard that your wife has won. Uh, yes, sir. My wife's won the last two years. She's having to sit out this year and be a judge. All Give right. everybody else a chance. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Now, you haven't lit your fire yet either, I see. So you oh. must have your timing down to yes, science. Sir. Yeah, them rookies take four or five hours to cook. It only takes three hours to cook a good rack of ribs. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> now, uh, you've already marinated or seasoned oh, yes, or rubbed sir. them down? I got them dry rubbed this morning, pulled the membrane off of them, ready to cook. Cook. Now you you use your own special rub that you've yes, concocted sir. yourself yes, sir. that you can't own... tell anybody about. That's right, secret, top secret. Gotcha. Yes, sir. And then your sauce. I, I use sweet baby rays and uh -huh. I, I hook it up a little bit with a little extra spices and seasonings. Yes, sir. Awesome. Really nice. Now yes, uh, this is pretty neat. You're going to use both sides. You're going to use smoke and yes, heat sir. too. I like to sear them first on the big pit and then I just smoke them the rest of the time off the smoke box. Sweet, yes, bro. sir. Well, good luck to hey, you. I sure appreciate it. And we're going to check back. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. I got another cook here. What's your name? Justin Brent. Where are you from? From Gonzales. All right. A lot of local influence here on this eighth annual cook off. Yes, sir. Now, uh, you haven't got your fire yet either, so you got your timing straight, too. Yes, sir. How long it takes you to cook ribs? A few hours, about three, three and a half hours. I can do it easy. Awesome. Now, uh, are you one of the guys that pulled the membrane off and do the... I, I did. Yes, sir, I did. Some do, some don't. <laughs> I don't know if it makes any difference, but I, you know, gotcha. air, air on the side of caution. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, now, you've been in here before. You've been in the Since the first one. Never missed one. Really? Yes, sir. All right. And you've won? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> well, you got room to room to grow. That's it. Now, uh, you've already seasoned your ribs down. Yes, sir. you got a secret rub you put on there? It, it changes every year. I don't have a recipe. Just whatever's hand in the kitchen. Okay. And your sauce? Whatever's handy. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I can't wait, bro. I'm going to wish you good luck. Thanks, And we're going to be checking back throughout the day. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. I got another cook. What's your name? Oh, Ryan Shexnotter. Where are you from? Prairieville. All right. Yep. Now, you've been cooking in this a while. Since the first one. Yeah, I actually won the first one. You won the first one? Yes, I did. You got several awards. I won the first one. And I won the fifth one. So, every five, about every five years, I'm hoping to kind of shorten right. that up a little bit today. Yeah, but, yeah. Maybe you can take, yeah, a, take right. one home today. That's right. Now, uh, how long does it take you? To cook your ribs? Uh, I can do about three hours. I can do them good in about three hours. Okay. Uh, yep. You've already marinated them, seasoned them up, put the yep. rub or something. They are already ready to go. Secret got, ingredient got, on the rub. Uh, yeah. I got a couple of little things that I do. Uh, it's already ready to go. It makes it easier when you get out here. Gotcha. So uh, all I got to do is throw a little dry rub on them. And the sauce. Pretty them up. You've already made your sauce. Sauce is ready. Sauce is ready to go. It's all ready to go. Yep. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro. Yep. Well, we're going to check back throughout the day, okay. and I'm going to wish you good oh, luck. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank all right, you. Y'all have fun. All right, Blue. Uh, you got two hours left. How you feeling? 
Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm not even worried about my ribs anymore. I've been ducked off to the side trying to perfect my dance moves for when I win. All right. So you, you're you getting prepared for the podium there uh, to stand right on the e top. Extreme confidence. Borderline cocky, but extreme confidence. God, is there any way we could take a little peek into there and see oh, how we're looking? This isn't trade secrets, baby. I want gotcha. everybody to learn how to do it the right way. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. That looks like uh, top-notch stuff right there. I appreciate that. You got a good eye. Well, we're going to check back with you. Thank Good you, luck. sir. Appreciate y'all being out here. 2014. All right, fellas. We got two hours left. How y'all feeling? Feeling real good, man. We had third last year, hoping to move up. Now, are you right on time? Oh, absolutely. Temperature's perfect. Sauce is perfect. Color's perfect. Awesome. Can we get a look? Can we get a look? Uh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. There you go. Let's see. Oh, man. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I ain't worried about my ribs right now. I see you got some uh, some fancy skewered shrimp on there. That's it. Oh, we gotta have, you gotta eat in between. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. All this good food, you gotta you know, get hungry. Oh, that's perfect cooking. Man, that looks like uh, top-notch ribs. Good luck to y'all. Thank you, thank you, sir. All right, Luke. You got about two hours left. Yes, sir. How you feeling? I'm feeling good about it, man. Got my ribs looking pretty good. Woo! Starting to peel back from that bone a little bit. Yes, indeed. Yes, that sir. that looks good. Got some good color on them. If you had to rate them between a one and ten right now, what you say? I give them about an eight right now. Okay. I'm gonna put the sauce on them. We get them up there at ten. Awesome. Well, <laughs> yes, we're gonna sir. check back with you. Hey, no problem. I'll be here all day, man. <laughs> Passing a good day and you just don't want to go home? Anchor down with Botella. The Botella is a trailable houseboat customized to your specifics and designed with self-contained technology for a combined standalone enjoyment of boating, fishing, cooking, and camping use. Botella's propane fuel generator allows you to power up and enjoy a day's play on the waterways. Then enjoy a comfortable evening of slumber parties without missing any of the comforts of home. Captain says, just anchor down and order your customized Botella. Gavez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Two Rose Grocery has an extensive hot breakfast menu like no other around. Hot plate lunches seven days a week. Cold salads, take and bake pizzas, po' boys, sandwiches, rotisserie meats, and signature desserts. Customers may call ahead to place orders. Our meat department is second to none, featuring signature Cajun smoked sausage, stuffed chicken, bacon-wrapped jalapenos, and much more. Locally owned by the Turo family. All right, Mike. About two hours left. How you feeling? Well... I feel pretty good. Uh, yeah. I know my ribs are right. Yeah. But uh, Annie here told me the other day, you need a little help with those ribs. I'm like, God, you don't even know my ribs, my championship uh -oh. ribs. I just threw something together one day. Gotcha. So, unless that, you got some special recipe or something. Yeah, that wasn't competition ribs then. Oh, uh, no. That, <laughs> that was regular ribs. Oh, uh, that's just like family night. Let's throw something together yeah. to eat and watch uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, how were those ribs? He doesn't really want me to break. Oh, okay. I swear. Okay. Man, it's tough, huh? Oh, she got to go over there with Justin. His ribs caught on fire because of the gargoyle. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. He it almost did? had to throw them down. Yeah. That the voodoo. voodoo is on him. The voodoo's working. Hey, Mike, we're going to check back with you. All right. <laughs> All right, man. About two hours left, bro. What you, what you thinking? I feel pretty good. You do? I mean, you do? Uh, yeah. Everything's in order. I've been having a lot of fun. Yeah. And the last two times that I won this... I think my main ingredient was fun. That I ought to be the main ingredient. Enjoying myself. Awesome. Whenever I worry about it and stress out, I don't do too. I overthink it. I fool with it too much. Yeah. Today I've been having fun. Kids playing in a jumper. So a it's nice been a fun day. day. Yep. And it's Can't... beautiful outside. Not cold. No ice. No snow. No, no sleep. rain. Yeah. <laughs> so you think we can get a look? Eh. For you? Yeah. Just for you. And All right. Quick All right. Only All right. Woo. 
Sweet, that looks good. Yep. Not too shabby. Yeah, we ain't we ain't burnt. Yeah, we look. That looks good. good. Coming off the bone. We got uh, awesome color. Man. I got some other things to put on the grill to eat. So uh huh. Here in about 20, 30 minutes. We're gonna get down to brass tacks. Well, good luck, bro. We're gonna see you a little bit later. Thank you. Thank have you. Fun. All right, Mike. Do or die time now. Look, I won this event every time. I'm not sure about the judging and stuff. <laughs> Deep down, you won. Oh, I'm like a bridesmaid. We still got the know? voodoo monkey. Oh, he caught people's ribs on fire today. Everything's looking good. I've been in second place, I think, three times out of six years. Maybe this will be the year. Yes, indeed. This is uh, this your turn-in portion then. You're going to yeah, pick, pick something. I'm, I'm going to try to cook, cut this right. Gotcha. And, uh, they look awesome, man. Yes, indeed. Okay, Jesse, you, you're picking some out to give to the judges now, huh? Yeah, I think I've got my four. I just got to double oh, check. Oh, that is beautiful. I just got to double check that that's the ones I want. Gotcha. Well, those so, look perfect. That's what I'm shooting for. Good luck. Thank you. All right, bro. You are uh, pulling some off for the judges now. It's time. It's time. It's, it's go time. time. That's it. It's go time. Now, uh, what makes what decides you which rib you're gonna turn in? You know, uh, I mean, look at that. Could you can turn pick? in any one of them. Could you pick? <laughs> I might let you pick. <laughs> that looks awesome, man. Thank that you. is Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Yep. Awesome. I don't know. I'm not sure which one's gonna go mm -hmm. on. I don't think I can make a bad choice. At I don't this think point. so either. Good luck to you. Thank you, Rodney. Appreciate it. All right, bud. All right, bro. We down to go time. Now, yep. you, this way you figure out which ones you're turning in. Oh, I figured it out. That is some beautiful looking ribs. Everybody else might as well just uh, go ahead and start eating theirs. That's what I'm thinking too. That <laughs> looks good, man. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, man, moment of truth. Oh yeah, man, they're looking good, bro. I think they're gonna be real hard to beat, man. Yes, indeed, they're that looks good. Falling apart tender, got it's a awesome. good smoke ring. They're gonna be good, man. Well, good luck to you. Yes, sir, I appreciate it, man. All right, man, moment of truth, huh? Winners right there. And they look beautiful. Yes, Every sir. I'm gonna tell you what, this is some of the best looking ribs I ever seen out here. Well, of course it is. Somebody's gotta win. <laughs> That's right. Hey then we don't produce bad ribs. I no, see no. that. Even the losers are good. Awesome. Well good luck to you. We'll be right back after these messages. Come on down to Fred's on the River. Fred started as a bait shop and has evolved into a legendary place for swamp pop and jitterbugging. Open seven days a week with karaoke on Friday nights and big name bands on Saturday and Sunday nights. Fred's now has 10 tons of air conditioning on the back deck. Video games, pool tables, dart boards, and a big screen TV with happy hour from 5 to 7 every day. Fred's boat launch is free, and so is the A-Meat River Hospitality. Ascension Trolling Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota Warranty Service Center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Trolling Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. <laughs> Welcome back to Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, so uh, we're just going to name out some numbers, man. Um, all right, so we're going to start with the booby prize. Last place, last place. Last place is a tie, okay? Um, tie for last place. We need uh, contestants number two and contestants number one.
Oh, look, so. All right, y'all. Somebody's got to, with all these good cooking, all these good ribs, every one of them was good. Somebody's got to win the movie prize. Uh, is there anybody y'all would like to thank? I want to thank uh, the judges for licking cat litter before the contest and not knowing what good ribs are. Okay, you? I agree. Okay, anybody? Well, I knew it was a sign. My great nephew brought me my favorite golf club, Five Wood. I think I may ought to play golf from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all, fellas. All right. All right, so we're going to go with uh, third place is uh, cook number six. Third place, cook number six. Podium. Third place, bro. Bro, third. Yeah. Out of, out of all this good cooking, bro, third place is good in this. I'm saying that was misrepresentation. I should have been first. And now, is there anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody that scored worse than me. <laughs> good job, bro. You're going to get them next year. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. That's it. All right, we got a tie for second place. Tie for second place. So we got uh, cooks number 10 and cooks number 9. Well, y'all, second place. That's with all this good cooking. I, I'd say that's really, really good. Uh, is anybody you'd like to thank or anything you'd like to say? <laughs> I would like to thank the academy, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> anybody you want to thank? Everybody that puts this thing on, man. Yeah, There's a lot of administration that goes through it. A lot more work than you would think. Uh, definitely Sean Bluen for introducing to me the cooking ribs and uh, awesome. It's kind of went from there. <laughs> well, thank y'all. It's good. Good job, y'all. Congratulations, hey, bro. Thank you, man. I sure appreciate it. Now, that's stiff competition here. Oh, it was a lot of good competition. There wasn't a bad rack of ribs turned in, man. I would like to say the same thing. Oh, it was great, man. It was always a great time. Hell, I'm glad I could win. Everybody did a good job. Everybody did a good job. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. We'll do it again next oh, year. Oh, we'll be here. 10th annual next year. 9th annual next year. Good <laughs> job. Good job. All right. Y'all, this has been fun. I'd like to thank Mike Strong for putting this on and inviting us over here. I'd like to thank all the cooks for coming out. This has been real fun. We're going to come back next year and do it again, and hopefully you learn something about some barbecue rib cooking. Thank y'all.